Um, uh, I, guess, I guess first thing is the, the 70 point first half, uh, obviously make a big comeback, but how far of a hole did you guys put yourselves in with that defense in the first half? Well, actually, quite a big hole. You know, and we spent so much energy trying to get out of it that, you know, in the end, we, you know, we fell short. So, you know, it's something that we got to take a hard look at. Mark Berman, New York Post. Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, the the performance of quickly, uh, especially in that fourth quarter for a rookie, I, I know it was a big hole and you're coming from behind, but does it still amaze you? I'm sorry, Mark, I didn't hear the last part of that. I said the performance of quickly uh, leading the comeback and his performance in that fourth quarter with all that poise, does it still amaze you? It, well, it's impressive. It, it, and again, I think his shot making is a, a huge asset for our team because you know that's something that we need. This, the shooting is what opens up the floor for us. Um, but his all around play, uh, he gets better with each outing. Uh, he puts pressure on people, and you know defensively he's learning. Uh, and as time goes on, he'll get better and better at it. Mike, Mike broken off the athletic. Uh, Tom, you, you mentioned that quickly gets better with each outing. I mean, aside from the, the box score numbers themselves, what have you seen him improve at uh, from game to game, especially like tonight? Well, I think if, if you could recall the, uh, the preseason, he was really in, in a really good rhythm uh, offensively, you know, shooting the ball. Uh, and then after getting hurt in the Indiana game, he sort of, uh, that layoff set him back some just because he, he was out of rhythm when he came back. And so I think he's back into that rhythm. And that was something we were confident about. We, that's been uh, one of the reasons why we drafted him is his ability to shoot the ball. Uh, but also to be such a, a great student of the game, and the way he prepares himself uh, for each game, those type of guys with this type of drive, they're going to improve. And I think, uh, the second time around when he plays a team a second and third time, they'll have a better understanding of what they're trying to do to him and also what they're trying to do uh, offensively. And I think uh, the way he studies, it, it'll give him a head start. But it's something um, that he's, he's a great worker. Uh, he's a great teammate. People like to play with him. If you're open, he hits you. Uh, and I think he's, he's adjusted quite well to the NBA game. Uh, taking everything into consideration. Eve Popper, Newsday. Hey, Tom, two quick things. Um, one, being out here, we did get a, a real good read on what happened with Julius there. Did they? Just, I guess you challenged that it. it was a. Uh, they were calling it a flagrant at first, and then just a common six foul. And also, um, I'm, also sorry. I'm sorry. Um, just just uh, with um, the comeback at the end, uh, it seemed like the guys did a pretty good job getting the ball out of Lillard's hands. Yeah, uh, so the first part, we were out of timeout, so we really couldn't challenge it. I uh, just asked for an interpretation of the play. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, what was the second one? Oh, taking the ball out of uh, Lillard's hands. Yeah, I think, you know, that type of player, uh, you know, you, there's a number of things that, you know, you have to go into a game with. Uh, and he, the way he was shooting the ball, we wanted to try to, to do something different. And, uh, and I, I think it changed up the rhythm stump. But, you know, he's seen just about every type of defense. He, and he doesn't stop moving. You know, if you get it out of his hands, he'll fly back to it. And so, uh, yeah, he's, he's a terrific player. And, again, I think a lot of what he does is set up by a shot. You know, he's such a great shooter. And then when you combine that with his – the ability to go off the dribble and play the pick and roll game, the dribble handoff game. Uh, and you have to uh, defend him in all different areas. He's uh, in many ways similar to Steph in that he, he moves extremely well without the ball too. So even if you get it out of his hands, they're going to keep moving and he's going to keep moving, you know, try to find a way to get it back. But it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And, uh, you know, I, th I thought our fight in the second half was obviously a lot better 
in, in the first half. And, um, and so that, you know, we, we have to make sure that we play with an edge. We have to come out ready to go.